Silverman drank some of his power juice, the source of his power. Then decided to go for a run. But not before stretching, like a total legend. He was like a blur of lightning as he sped down the road. Did I say he was going for a run? More like an avalanche of water and freefall with rocket boosters. I'm sorry, that was a lie. It was more like a spaceship going faster than the it was more like a spaceship going faster than a star going supernova with rocket boosters. Downhill. Going faster than matter could possibly allow, he tore through the air like a lizard tore through a watermelon. Charging up with even more energy, he blasted his silver force through the stratosphere, connecting to the moon, taking off at such speeds the likes of which have never been seen before in this universe. He screeched to a halt, causing the universe to explode 80 times before resetting like a solid state hard drive, then stopped to survey the valley around him. He decided to go for a walk along the bridge pausing for a moment of brief, sensual self-introspection. Silverman plots his next move, while dramatically staring into the distance. He then springs into action, taking a fall that would break a lemur's bones and its dick all at the same time, landing with perfect execution. Staring off into the distance, his silver gaze pierces the heavens, observing far universes. Deciding to go for a swim in the fresh water flowing beneath his feet from a three billion year old glacier deep snuggled amongst the mountain hills, he takes the plunge. Swimming like a total legend and not like a retard. Shaking himself like a silver maple in a tsunami, he frees himself of additional hydrogen before heading home at max speed. He contemplates such deep philosophical questions as what if lightning bolts hit the Twin Tower instead of planes before planning his next move. <laughs>